Welcome to Object Oriented Programming. Uh, in this video we're going to be working with a rectangle. We're going to solve for the perimeter, area, and diagonal. So first thing I'm going to do is include my libraries. I'm going to include uh, IOStream. I am going to include IOManip. And I'm going to include CMath. Uh, IOStream is for uh, input and output commands. Then we have IOManip, which is for alignment. It's your, it's a library of alignment commands. And then we have CMath, and that is just a library for math commands. So after that, we're gonna enter in using namespace, namespace std, and this just puts, uh, it just puts S, std colon colon in front of all common commands common library commands. So now that we got this part now, since this is object oriented, we're going to put a lot of these commands into our header file. So let's create a header file. So you uh, select header files, highlight add, and then click new item. We're going to select header file and we're going to, we're just going to call this C rectangle and click add. Okay, now let's create uh, this header files. We're going to type class. It's going to turn blue, then rectangle. C rectangle, and then open twisty, closing twisty, semicolon. Then we're going to type in public and private. Now we're going to create the default constructor. Uh, okay, so we're going to call this C rectangle, open parentheses, closing parentheses, open twisty, closing twisty, semicolon. So this is the default constructor. Okay, after we created that, now we're going to create the private member variables. So it's a rectangle, so we're going to have length and width. So we're going to write double. Okay, so double length and width. Now the reason we're using a double, because, you know, uh, just in case, let's say you have a rectangle and it's not exactly uh, an integer, so it's not 1, 2, 3. It's something like 1.675 or something like that. So now we are going to create our partial constructor. So we're going to call this C, open paren, double, A, Close parentheses, closing parentheses. Now we're going to say length. So we're going to assign A to length. That's your first partial constructor. Let's create the second one. This is going to be the full uh, uh, full constructor. This is going to be C rectangle double A comma double B. Uh, this is going to be width. Well, let's call this length again. Assign that to A. We're gonna have width and assign b to width or b to width. Partial constructor. This is your full constructor. It's full constructor because it's accessing all of your uh, private member variables. Oops, almost forgot to put a semicolon right there. Okay, so now we have the default constructor, the partial constructor, and the full constructor. Now let's go ahead and create the mutators. Mutators for length and width. So first one will be for length. So we're going to write double. Uh, no, we're not. Sorry. We're going to write void uh, set length. Open parentheses, closing parentheses. And then we're going to type in open twisty, closing twisty. And here we're going to say, oh, sorry. We're going to write double A. And here we're going to assign a to length, just length equal sign a semicolon. So that is the mutator for length. Now we're going to do the mutator for width. So we're going to, again we're going to write void set width. It has to be exactly the same, otherwise it's not going to work. Open paren, closing paren. We're going to write double b. Open twisty, closing twisty. Now let's see. This is going to be width. We're going to assign B to width. Okay, so now we have both the mutators done. Now we're going to create the accessors. We're going to create two accessors, one for length and one for width. So here we're going to write double, and we're going to write get. And we're going to do length first. Open parentheses, closing parentheses. Open twisty, closing twisty. Now we're going to write return length, semicolon. And that's it. Now we're going to do, again, double, oops, get, width, open paren, closing paren, 
open twisty, closing twisty. And now we're going to write return width. Semicolon. Okay, so now we have the accessors for length and width. So now, now we're going to get into the facilitators. So we're going to do three facilitators. So we're going to do the facilitators for perimeter. Oops, perimeter, area, and diagonal. So, okay, first the facilitator for perimeter, because it's the simplest. So we're going to write uh, double perimeter, open pren, closing pren. Then we're going to write open twisty, closing twisty, indent, and return. Now we're going to solve for the perimeter. So the perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Now you can do that and it'll work. But uh, it's it's a little bit sloppy and only because you know you can take out these the one of the twos to simplify it. So we could actually go put a parenthesis there, delete that two, and the multiplication sign, and another parenthesis here. Okay, and this uh, two times the length plus the width will uh, give you uh, will give you the perimeter. Now after we did the perimeter, now we're going to do the area. So we're gonna, again we're going to do double area, open paren, closing paren. Open twisty, closing twisty. We're gonna write return. Uh, so the area. How do you get the area? The area is equal to length times the width. So we're just gonna say length multiplied by the width, and that will solve for the area. Now, next, we're gonna solve for the diagonal. So we're gonna type double uh, diagonal. Open paren, closing paren. Then you're gonna do open twisty, closing twisty. We're gonna get around to type return. Now, how do we solve for the diagonal? Well, it would be, I think it's a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, but we want c, which is the diagonal, which that would just be the square root of c. So we're gonna do square root, and sqrt is how you get the square root, parentheses. Then we're gonna say length times length plus width times width and close it off. Oops, didn't close it. Semicolon. And that will solve for uh, the diagonal. Now you notice that this is the square root is underlined and it's saying it's an error. The reason that you have an error here is because we have not included the header into the into the int main here. So we're gonna do that next. So we come here underneath uh, using namespace we're gonna do pound include. Now we want to include our header file so we're gonna do uh, parentheses and then rectangle H and now it's included into our file and so now if we come back here you notice the square root is no longer uh, underlined with an error and that's just because we've included it into our int main and int main knows that uh, in order to use this it has to go first to get the, the CMath because that's where it's going to go look for the code on how to use this, this uh, square root command okay so now that we got that, now we need to include an ins or we need to create an instance of our object inside of int main. So we're going to do C rectangle. Now you can call this instant whatever you want. You can call it a happy face or whatever. But usually you want to make it something that makes sense and that it's like an, an intelligent uh, word that you'll recognize right away. So if you call it one or two, that's very vague. So I just call it rectangle. Okay, so now we've created an instance inside of int main. I always like to move this further down because otherwise you're going to get the, the press any key uh, right after whatever you type. So we're going to do uh, C out and then we're going to do backslash N a few times. Now we can compile this just to make sure it runs. So I'm going to compile it now and I recommend that you compile every so often just so if you make an error somewhere it tells you right away. Instead of like I wouldn't recommend if you're starting out to, to write all this code and not compile it first. I'd recommend like you create, create it in steps so like you write a line. If you're starting out you might want to compile it right away or maybe like two or three lines and then compile. So I'm going to compile now just to make sure. Okay so it was built successfully. Everything's up and running. So now let's go ahead and let's type some, let's print some stuff out to the screen. So we're going to say C out. Well, let's see, I am testing my rectangle object. Oh, let me show you two ways to do the C out. You can do the C out like that, 
Or you could do this seal like this. So backslash in, backslash in. Uh, I think two lines down is fine. So I am testing my rectangle object. Now I'm going to say the length of the rectangle is in this one you notice that right after I finished this these uh, these double quotes I close it off this command and that's the end of this command now instead of closing it off I'm just gonna use one C out and I'm gonna type in several things so here I'm using these uh, less than or greater than signs so now let's see we're gonna type in we want to get the length of the rectangle so we're gonna say uh, rectangle uh, and then we want to get the length so get length and then open print closing print now we could close it out here and stop um, and that might actually be a good idea let's see what happens when I close it out like this alright you notice that it says I am testing my rectangle object and this one is not indented eight spaces also you'll notice you have some sort of kooky number in there and that is totally because I did not set a value for the length so First off, I'm gonna make this a little bit neater by doing backslash T to make sure that it's indented so these the I and the T line up. Now I'm gonna enter in a value for the length. So we're gonna do C actually no it's just rectangle. Rectangle dot and now we wanna set the length. So let's come down here to set length. And we're gonna set the length to let's say uh, 123.4. Okay, so now if we run this code now, it's going to say I am testing my rectangle object. It's going to pump out the length of the rectangle is, and it's going to give you a, a length of 123.4. So let's see if that's what happens. Okay, so uh, you see now they're properly indented, and it says I am testing my rectangle object. The length of the rectangle is 123.4. All right, so the length is correct. Now, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, check for the perimeter area and the diagonal but first let's check for the width first so we're going to do double quotes backslash n backslash n backslash t the width of the rectangle is and then let's come back here and now we're going to call the we know we're going to get the the width of it so we're going to say rectangle dot oh wait something's goofy oh look see this right here you can't put that if if you put the semicolon here you have to add another C out here since I didn't add another C out it gave me this error so this can be fixed just by getting rid of that now so C rectangle now let's set uh, not set the width but we want to get the width and from previously you'll know that uh, if I just go ahead and try to run this uh, we're gonna have problems because I did not set the width here I set the length so it'll give me a length of whatever I enter in here. But since I did not set the width, I'm not going to get any value that I want for the width. It's going to give me some kooky answers. So right now I'm going to set the width. So rectangle. And then set uh, width. Uh, and let's set it at 567.8. Okay, so now we have, we've set the length, we've set the width. Uh, here we're, we're saying the length of the rectangle is, and it's going to give us the, rec the, the length of the rectangle here. And next, after that, we're going to say the width of the rectangle is, and then we're going to get the rectangle width here. So let's go ahead and run that. Okay, so now let's check this out. It says, I am testing my rectangle object. 123.4, 567.8. Correct. So let's continue on. Now, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to call this, I'm going to set the length to 3, and I'm going to set the width. We are going to solve for the perimeter, area, and rectangle. Backslash n, backslash n, backslash t. The perimeter, rectangle dot. 
Oh, look, I did it again. I keep putting this uh, semicolon here. Whoops. Okay, so now we're going to get uh, do perimeter. So perimeter, open print, closing print. Now I'm going to do, uh, let's see, double quotes, backslash n, backslash n, backslash t. The area is do rectangle dot area. Next, now we're going to do uh, backslash n, backslash n, backslash t. The diagonal is diagonal. Whoops. Diagonal is uh, it's rectangle dot diagonal. So right now we've already entered in the the facilitator for diagonal, the facilitator for area and perimeter. We also have the two accessors for length and width. So here we're just ready to go ahead and test this. We should be getting uh, three for the length, four for the width. Uh, perimeter should be two times three, which is six. Plus eight, six plus eight is 14. So we should get the perimeter of 14. The area should be 12. And the diagonal should be uh, 9, 16, 25, 5. So the diagonal should be 5. So let's check those out right now. Okay, so the length of the rectangle is 3, the width of the rectangle is 4, the perimeter is 14, the area is 12, and the diagonal is 5. So our program checks out. Anyhow, hopefully this, uh, this made sense. Hopefully it helped you out, and uh, hopefully in your guys' project you guys get an A. So uh, good luck in your guys' classes, 